So now we are going to make connections. So what you can do, you can do this at home. You're going to get out a sheet of paper. Um, you can use colored pencils or a crayon. And you're going to apply what you learned about the different parts of plants. And you're going to pick an animal, just one animal. And you're going to label the different parts of that animal like you would when you're laboring, labeling the different parts um, of a plant. Okay, so you can kind of make that connection with animals and plants. They both have different parts to them that they really need. Okay, and you can also do this for extra credit. <laughs> so here's an example of what I did. Can anybody guess what this is? That's correct. It is a dog. Did I do a good job at drawing it? <laughs> okay, so you see how I labeled the different parts of the dog? So right here are the paws which I'm sure many of you know that, especially if you have a dog. Here's the mouth, okay? The ears, they really need the ears to hear things. The eyes, they need eyes to see. The nose, they need the nose to be able to smell their food or just be able to smell anything, okay? And the tail. And usually, they wag their tail when they're super happy. So all these parts on this dog are needed. The dog needs all of these parts. It helps him to survive, just like the different parts of the plant. So you're going to do this too. You don't have to pick a dog. You can pick any type of animal. A cat. Um, a mouse a goat, a horse, a cow, and you're going to do the same thing. I would love to see what you guys drew.